Hi folks, thanks for joining me today. I am a dialysis patient since 2013 and uh, today's topic, what I want to talk about in all things dialysis on this channel is body temperature. So I've noticed that since I started dialysis, obviously there's temperature changes that I experience. During the winter time and when it's colder, I get colder uh, compared to normal average person or even compared to myself before dialysis. And there's reasons for that. Your body changes and part of the kidney function actually does help regulate blood pressure and blood flow throughout your body in addition to the heart and your other organs. So they all sort of work together. And we'll talk more in detail about how everything works together at some other point. But today we're talking about temperature. So um, when your kidneys fail and it cannot excrete certain fluids that move around, you're limited to different fluids, and you may not be as active, you may be a little bit more fatigued, um, it could affect your heart, the rhythm of pumps as well. Um, it could affect your body temperature. So you're gonna feel that the hotter days might feel hotter than average person, the colder days might feel colder. A lot of things, a lot of folks do experience the cold more than the heat and sometimes patients are anemic anemic is that it, your your blood cells are not creating the blood cells um, and then you need medication injected to help you keep that hemoglobin up or the iron level up uh, so if you're anemic those especially hit the folks in terms of the colder temperatures I know sometimes even when the weather's warm outside, if I go to the stores or to the mall or even to the office where I cannot control the temperature in the environment I'm at, I always tend to bring a jacket with me being a dialysis patient because sometimes I get colder than everybody else. It may be so hot outside that people go in with their shorts and short sleeves and feel perfectly fine and enjoy the cold air conditioning. For me, sometimes that actually gets too cold. So even on the hot weather days, sometimes I bring a jacket with me, a light jacket, um, just to kind of keep myself warm, just in case I feel cold. Or sometimes I drink colder fluids while under air conditioning, and that can make me feel colder. So just so you're aware, sometimes that happens with dialysis patients. There is temperature variations between pre-dialysis and being a dialysis patient. And then once you get transplant, that variation may change again. So um, it's important to, again, take care of your labs, keep an eye on them, make sure your hemoglobin and iron levels are in order so that you're not experiencing anemia effects as much. And uh, work with your care team, your nephrologists, your nurses, um, in terms of um, the medication that may be needed to treat your anemia, I get injections of air nests every two weeks, um, usually. In center clinic, it's sort of as needed uh, because they monitor it from week to week. And then on PD, I can self-inject. I've been trained to self-inject it at home every two weeks, a certain dosage. So sometimes we have to adjust the dosage and whatnot. And then you could talk to the dietitian at the clinic about diets that might help your iron levels. Um, sometimes every other nutrition levels are off, that could throw your body off a little bit as well. Um, typically you don't sense that in temperature, but you could sense fatigue or whatnot um, a little bit more. So it's always important to understand your labs and then know how to make adjustments as necessary. And work with your team if you're new and don't know it. Um, you know most of the time they're really good about trying to educate you on that because that's part of their job okay so work with your team and um, go from there hopefully you found this valuable if you did click like at the bottom of the video if you're new here with us please do subscribe at the bottom and click the little ring bell so you get notified when new content comes out and as usual if you have any comments suggestions questions feel free to comment below love hearing from you guys and appreciate all the content ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Live well on dialysis so that you could do the things you want to do with the folks that you care to do it with.